Hey, many fish. Uh, May 20th. And, uh, yeah, NASA again. Uh, you know how, I mean, I'm always saying, seek the truth, seek the truth. And I mean it. I truly do. That doesn't mean that I always know the whole truth, because I'm constantly learning. I've known for a long time that the space and the planets and everything about that that they tell us is a lie, is false. I do know that. These participants, these astronauts, are all just in the club. They live lives of just complete and utter depravity. You know, just all the lusts and all the wicked things that they believe are the rewards of their deception. And I'm learning that not only is space not space, but it's actually more like it's described <laughs> in the Bible. And, you know, I know all about the, uh, the flat earth, but I do know where I live. I can see Mount Washington from the hill down the road. And from my elevation and the amount that I can see of that mountain does not add up. And the mountain's like 45 miles away, something like that. And it don't add up. So I do believe that space isn't space. I know that. And But what they do show us of space is their deceptive interpretation of what's really going on. Like they love their little probes, you know. They have this uh, Juno probe, science pass of Jupiter, going over the big spot, which I am going to show you. And here's the article. You notice they kind of cut the image. They kind of crop it over here. And, then, and you have to read the small print and then click this to see the full image. And once you do, same date, they just didn't put it on their front page. Look at this image here. I mean, can you not see that? I mean, I brought it out a little bit more with taking the hue down and everything. And now I can, like, bring the shadows up on them. But, I mean, that is just, like, a wicked, wicked spirit spinning out of that, that hole, that whatever they call it, which is very similar to a video I made a couple months ago. There was a pit with uh, demons in it. And that's what this is, except the resolution's so bad, you can't make out these guys really well. I see them. I see all sorts of things. But regardless, I mean, look at this character. I mean, and that's what it is. There's no mistaking it. And that's what's being birthed. This is what is revealing itself through NASA, through all these other things that I show you commercials, whatnot, and this is literally Satan's paint job. That's all it is. And the movements of these planets and everything up in the firmament are all appointed. They, they always travel exactly where they're supposed to. We know where they're going to be and what they're doing. What, what we're not told is that those are actual entities. My understanding is that most of them do not have our well-being at heart. You know what I'm saying? They're not friendly to the flesh. They, they will promise you safety and peace. That I guarantee you. They will offer you peace and safety when it all starts flying apart. And they're the ones to turn to. That's all I'm saying. I hope that you're still seeking the truth. And maybe I can get into this in a little more detail a little bit later. But boy, he's breathing out that wicked spirit. Boy, look at him. He's just spinning out. And all his little buddies are following close behind. Believe me, they're in there. Little devils, little demons, and little skulls everywhere. It's the beast in the system. This isn't men creating this. Uh-uh. Especially in every single solitary image they produce. <laughs> All of them. Even these. Anyway, I'll get back at you all soon. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 